The last 20 years of Premier League footballs include some of the most iconic balls of all time. Today I'll spend 10 minutes shooting with each, rank them accordingly in a tier list, and then at the end of the video put together a compilation of my best goal with each ball. First up we have the Merlin, at the time the roundest, fastest, most accurate ball ever. Seeing this without Thierry Henry tearing some hapless defence a new one just looks wrong. Notable moments include Bergkamp's flick and Henry's flick and volley against United. This is a proper throwback, so uh, let's give it a go. Side note, we could have gone back to the mitre and done every football since the Premier League began, but a mix of them being difficult to obtain and me just getting back to full fitness and not wanting to risk injury by kicking one of those uh, meant that we didn't in the end. Don't stop the oh, that's, a, that's a nice start, side note. Oh, he's going for it. <laughs> Lovely. Right, it is worth saying, Ollie's knee is gone, and uh, we couldn't find another goalkeeper at such short notice, so I'm um, gonna have to cut him some slack, is what I'm saying in these uh, in these shooting sessions today. <laughs> Enjoying this one, are we? Turns out Ollie's knee was actually so crippled that we initially filmed this whole video as five minutes shooting with each football. Then I looked back at the footage and came to the conclusion even I couldn't upload it. So I impeached him and employed another goalkeeper. Allow me to introduce Connor. He's uh, helped me edit my videos for the last year and he's a decent keeper and an Arsenal fan. Totally overqualified for the job. We filmed another day of shots with the balls, so the 10 minutes of shooting is made up with five minutes against Ollie and five minutes against Connor. <laughs> Just used to saying save, like yeah, whatever the save is. Well, thanks for everyone. Oh, take that. Oh. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. It was heading. Oh, that was heading. I'll have one more shot with this. Oh. <laughs> Really quite unforgiving this ball. There's no like outer soft layer like you get with the normal ones these days. <laughs> really hurts to kick after a while. The appearance and history of this ball automatically means it's somewhere near the top of our tier list. It was actually a lot less solid to kick than I was expecting to because it just looks like a rock. So I'm going to start things off with a shut up and take my money. And for me to get hold of it for this video, Nike very much did. Next was the Merlin Vapor, which was mainly made softer and got a colour change. Once again, United and Arsenal shared the titles in these two years and 0304 was of course Arsenal's invincible season, which no one can take away from us until Liverpool do it this year. This is actually from, I think it's Bolton Aston Villa. We bought this, this was actually used in a proper Premier League game. It was in a lovely case, everything that we got off eBay, just for me to, to hammer it into Rose Ed back in the channel line. Accurate. Aiming for the other corner, but... Don't read! Oh, no. oh, it's a goal! Oh. <laughs> Have a look at one of the greatest goals I've seen on this ground. That's deliberate. That's fantastic. That was a ping. All right, I'll go last one on this one, because I think we're on like 13 minutes already. <sighs> Oh, same. Now these first two balls were essentially the same to play with and, you know, pretty much the same to look at. So it's a nice and simple decision as to where this one's going. Uh, once again, to get hold of it, my money was very much taken. Now, 2004 saw the launch of possibly the greatest football ever, certainly according to my Twitter poll. We couldn't get hold of the yellow version, unfortunately, which is even more iconic, but the white and red went stunningly with my Nike Total 90s back in the day. Signed by Matt Letizia, actually, but I digress. I should probably be signing his boots these days, but I digress again. It's time. It's the big boy. The moment we've all been waiting for, the Aero One. Give it a go. This is a proper one. None of those cheap spin-offs off eBay. First shot with the Aero. <laughs> Pop. My knee! <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> Unfortunately, that was all the time I had with the Aero One after this guy nicked it as he went past and managed to evade our attempts to stop him. I'm just kidding. The only thing we evade around here are tax bills. Thank, Thank you, mate. You. Cheers. Yeah, I'll take that one. Ooh. Oh, save. Ooh. <laughs> Ollie wasn't getting to that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, fingers. Got away with one there. <laughs> really have. All right, boys. Come on, lads. All right, I'll take three more shots on this one. All right.
perspective. Everyone, godly. Absolutely godly. The movement is just insane. Did not disappoint one bit. God tier, no debate. Next was the Aero 2. Still definitely top tier. United kind of shafted everyone in the season with this ball, but Ronaldo particularly enjoyed doing it to Portsmouth. An obscene amount of great goals were scored with this one as well in the two seasons, and notably it was the season when Derby broke records with the lowest points, least goals scored, least wins, most defeats, and most times it's still nil-nil lads heard in one Premier League season. Now time for the Aero 2. It's probably my second favourite Premier League ball. Scuffed it a bit. Yes. Oh. I feel like my shot percentage is, I mean, goal percentage is pretty high with this one so far. Now, of course, this is the ball that Ronaldo scored his free kick against the Portsmouth. Uh, this is a big smash up here. He smashed it into the back of the net. And it gets even better for Cristiano Ronaldo. Not quite the same dip, but. That was better. Oh! Is that going? Oh, in? surely. I don't actually know. What are you saying? No. I, I don't, I don't I'm think I'm going to say yes. He's done it! Oh my goodness! <sighs> oh, that's nice. What a cracker! Oh, that's a <laughs> lovely. Oh, one more goal on this one. Finally, a worthy opponent. Oh. Yes, I I think you definitely won that battle. <laughs> we'll see how I make it look in the edit. All right, arrow two, also done. Also godly. Now, I don't think there's anywhere else that the two arrows can go except right at the top. They're both a little softer than the first two Merlins, so it does feel like there's more movement, which is, you know, always fun for everyone, except goalkeepers, but they're not making the call here. The absolutely elite level of football slightly tailed off then with the Omni. It's not quite remembered at the same level. I remember my uncle absolutely rifling mine about half a mile across Jersey with an overhead kick over our garden fence. As far as traumatizing childhood experiences with my uncle get, though, it could be worse. <laughs> what happened to the left side being okay? I prefer. Yes! Hey. Lovely stuff. We got one. Oh, that was nice. Sorry. Back in from Boateng! What a hit from George Boateng! Oh my god. Oh no! Is it? Oh! Oh, you saved that as well. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's the Omni done. Yeah, ball's getting much more soft, like the two arrows in this one. Um, very much nicer to kick than the first two. The outside of the ball's like, this one's really shiny. It's like the, the old miters that you used to get in this one. It just, it's got more texture, so it's just a bit nicer to kick. There's nothing that special about the Omni, but I can't deny it went down on the Christmas list when it came out. I think that means it can only be labeled solid, when it's actually quite a lot softer than the previous balls. Next was the Ascente, again improved by Nike to be as accurate as possible, but unfortunately wasn't even the most famous ball that year. That goes to the beach ball thrown onto the Stadium of Lights that helped Darren Bent's shot past Pepe Reina. This one's the first one that's got actually like little bits of grip, so hopefully should be able to curl this one a bit nicer. Don't stop the rhythm! Yes! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh come oh. on. Oh, my God. Say so, what, I haven't scored for like 10 minutes now. <laughs> Ollie might be back in a job after all. <laughs> 
Oh. Well, we hope no There's nothing wrong with the Ascente, but generally just being very average and being outshone by a beach ball, I think, condemns it to the forgettable tier. 2010-11 saw the Tracer introduced. A couple of really nice goals with this one. Rooney's bicycle kick was scored with this one against Man City, and Teote's stunning volley against us to bring it back to 4 all after being 4-0 down. Again, United won the league with this one. Oh my god, this will work out. Yes! It is Fernando Torres for Liverpool! Oh, oh my god! It genuinely means so much when I score. Trace is going in solid, looks alright, kicks alright. Genuinely got nothing else to say. Moving on, I always like this one. The Nike Satiro, famously used by Aguero when City won the league in the last minute, and Chris MD when he had 2,000 subscribers. Right, we've switched goals to make it even harder for Ollie. That's not really right. Uh, the sun's proving a bit of an issue, so we've switched. I mean, you you pretty much surely can just see nothing. Please release me. <laughs> oh. Oh, good. oh, lovely. Oh, yes. Feels like this one just really nicely bit. Yes. Oh. Tips it into the top you corner. You pushed that right in the top corner. <laughs> oh. Really, really good knuckle on that. So I don't know if that's due to the pattern of the ball or anything, but yeah, definitely. Top three. The Satiro's got to be up there for entertainment purposes. It dipped way more than any other football, was very easy to knuckle. One of those ones I'll selectively pick for any more Ronaldo recreations in the future. Onto the Nike Maxime. Um, <laughs> anyone actually remember this ball? I'm genuinely not convinced this ever existed, but apparently so. Man United won the league this year with Van Persie top scoring at 26. That explains it. Kind of stayed away from football that year. All right, ball's really starting to feel a bit more modern now. We've got the Maxime. Uh, nice bit of grip like the last one, just different pattern, I think. Any trivia on this one? Uh, they went for a fractalized glass effect with the pattern. Wow, you're not even joking, are you? Oh, surely. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Jesus. The goal's this way. I love you. When she says she likes a bad boy. Oh. 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 Safe. Yeah. Safe. Nice dip on that. Yeah, it was. Alright, I'll get lost more of this. No! Out Absolute stinker. The ball, not the footballer. Get in the bin. Next up was the Nike inside. Suarez went absolutely ham with this ball this year. I offered someone 40 pounds and one pence for it on eBay, but I think it was lost on them. Be your superhero. Oh, that's skill. <laughs> Your superhero. I keep Kasami! What a goal! Just outstanding! Yeah, that'll do for that ball. Um, it will go with forgettable. Right, finally, I've got some interesting ball facts to share with you. So next up was the Nike All Dem 2. No one seems to know what happened to the one. Nike just do what they want, apparently. The balls fuse welded together for the first time ever, and this meant there were no longer panels stitched together on Premier League footballs. So we're now onto the first bonded ball instead of, uh, you know, them being um, threaded together. Threaded? Stitched together, that's the word. So whether or not that'll make a difference. Kind of got the same texture along the ball. Let's give it a go. Ready? 
Yeah. Oh my. Yeah, nice knock. Wasn't was that. going that way, and then yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> oh yes. I prefer not to speak. <laughs> Neither so do I. <laughs> uh, that's good that we're in agreement. Whoa. <laughs> Hundred percent success. <laughs> good to see that hat's helping. No! It's happened again! Ah, sorry mate. Some genuinely dreadful attempts here. Save! Whoa. I think definitely had a bit more movement with that one. Yeah. Seemed to move through the air a bit more, so whether that's due to how it's put together. Maybe. I'll give a solid to the first order. Lots of movement because of the way it's put together, um, and you know, that makes things interesting and probably moved the most out of any ball in terms of movement through the air. This is probably my favourite ball from the last decade. The Ordem 3, totally different to any ball we'd seen before, which complemented Leicester winning the league at 5,000 to 1 odds very well. This one, probably one of my favourite lurking balls. Five minutes. Um, yeah, it's just very different to all the other designs. Looks nice. Any trivia on this one? Uh, no. Oh, f oh, oh. I couldn't believe looking back. Genuinely, how have I done this? I've just Eduardo'd myself. Went over on my ankle there. Oh dear. Oh. How is it? Luckily, the good ankle. Yes. Oh. I don't know if it was that, but I swear there's a huge crack down the entire of the windscreen. I've got an 800 quid bill sitting on my desk here. Oh. Ali. Great skill. Oh, what a goal! This one's got to be second tier. The design of the ball is a madness, and Leicester winning the league with it. Iconic. 2016-17 saw the Ordem 4, which I made a video on that year. It had a really detailed texture, which gives you more grip, and as I discovered in that video, it allows you to curl footballs really impressively. A big, beautiful Frenchman also scored a scorpion kick that year. Yeah, I really like the curl on this one last time, so... Yeah? I want to see if that's the same. Ah, not great. Oh, yes, surely. A little bit naughty, that. Oh. Unlucky. He's done it! Oh, yes. I think that's my first two in a row. So, somehow that looks really good. Woo. Oh, save. I feel I slightly let down the football with those attempts. The curl is something you really do notice, so, uh, and I remember that from when I first did a video on it, so I'm gonna go with solid. The Ordem 5 didn't really include any massive changes. Uh, it was the ball that Man City absolutely dismantled the rest of the league with, though, uh, and when they ended up with 100 points in the Premier League for the first time ever. Right, another Ordem. I'm not gonna lie to you, probably my least favourite ball. There's just nothing that special about it. Sorry, Nike. Oh, am I a 13th century Mexican? This is gonna have some swaz tech. That was <laughs> such a shame. Sane, it's good side. Very good side. He's in. They've taken it to the AR. They can't afford it. So they're just gonna have to guess biasly that it was in. Well, it's been a while since I actually scored a good goal. Based largely on the fact all they did in a year was rub out a line, this one's straight and forgettable. Last year, the Nike Merlin was made of just four panels, which was a first, uh, like, for the world in football design. Quite forgettable to be fair, so <laughs> they had to do something new with it. Okay. 
Another raw dem? Not very inventive, yeah. are they? More like boar dem. This, isn't this like a, a Merlin or something? Well, I look like a fool now. Don't stop the rhythm. Ooh, that, was, that sounded a bit beat fool, didn't it? Uh, Chris, this isn't a proper ball. Oh no, is this the £10 one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's the one, that's the one. Yeah. I was going to say, that sounded way too beach ball. All right, we've got the proper ball now. <laughs> Don't stop the rhythm. No. no. My legs are starting to go. Like you, be strong. Oh, oh yes, that was it. Powers of the sun. Oh dear, that wasn't. One more. Oh. <laughs> Never in my life. Wow! Where others had failed, he nailed. Superhero. Getting closer. Oh! It's genuinely been about half an hour since I got a good goal. Oh, that was nice. Based largely on the fact all they did in a year is rub out a bigger line, this one's straight back and forgettable. Finally, this year we've seen another Nike Merlin. Wasn't a big fan of the first version, but the winter one they've brought out as like a throwback to the Aero one is stunning. Uh, unfortunately, we'd already bought the original, so sorry about that. And here we have it. The last Premier League ball, Nike Merlin 1920. Come on. Sorry. Oh, what a strike! A stick of dynamite! <laughs> and the man they call the Ginger Pele has struck. Oh, oh. <laughs> Amazing. Right, ten seconds left. Last one. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Finishing off the Nike 1920 Merlin, I think I think it's got to make it into shut up and take my money with the winter edition because that ball is just glorious. Um, the football, obviously the most advanced one to date. You know, no complaints at all. And that concludes our final tier list. Uh, please let me know if you disagree. If you have any more uh, changes to make, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'll read them all. I'm currently on a skiing, snowboarding holiday, so uh, hence the background. All that's left to do is to show you my compilation of my best goal with each ball.